Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will explain how to build these angled window facades. This tutorial is base game compatible, so you don't need any packs for this. I built an example here and as you can see the windows are angled and the best thing is that this is fully functional, so not only can your sims live their normal life on the inside, the weather does not affect them. I switched to winter and sent my sim to the outside into the snow and she was freezing cold, but as soon as she went back to the inside said he was fine and without further ado we're going to jump right in now and I will explain you step by step how you can build this yourself. So we are starting off with building a room. I'm going to use the tallest wall height available. You don't have to do that but I think it looks really beautiful with these type of windows or roofs. And now you want to delete the wall in the front. So now you have something like this. And now we are going to build a couple of columns. Inside these columns, we are going to hide a part of the roof. So it's very important that you are building these columns. And these columns have to be two tiles long, one tile wide, and you build them like this. And you have to keep them open over here. You cannot close them like this because you cannot place roofs inside enclosed rooms. So you have to make sure that you build it like this. Now we're going to place a half gabled roof and we're going to shape it so it fits perfectly into this column. So you want this roof to have the same size as your column. So you want this to be as slim as possible, only one tile wide and two tiles long. So it looks something like this, one tile over here and two tiles over here. And now I want to explain you something about the eaves of roofs. So when you click on this little arrow, you can make the eaves bigger. But now when I'm holding down shift on my keyboard, I can change one side at a time. And this is exactly what you want to do for this. You want to expand this side here as wide as possible. And you want to bring the eave on this side all the way in so it looks something like this and when you look at it from this point to this point you have six tiles so this is the maximum width for eaves and now you place the roof inside the column so the column is open on the side and the roof is facing into this direction. So it starts down here and it goes up into this direction. You don't want to place it like this because we need this wall over here to close off this column. So we're using the roof's wall to kind of close the column because I'm quickly going to show you this. If you would close this and you would try to place it, it would tell you roofs cannot be placed in enclosed rooms. So you want to make sure that you keep this column open and then you place it on the inside. And now you want to bring up the roof so it looks something like this. And then you once again hold down shift and you bring down this eave here at the top and then we apply the glass. The glass down here was added in a base game update. It was free for everyone. So if you don't see the glass down here, just make sure that your game is up to date. And now we have applied the glass. And now we simply continue this by building the next column. Once again, two tiles long and one tile wide. And then you can click on the roof and we have this little copy button and you place it on the inside and it looks something like this. And I'm going to build the next column. I copy the roof and I place it on the inside. And now I want my build to end over here. So I'm just going to attach another column. I can close this column because I won't place a roof inside this one. So it just looks something like this. Now I can of course just open this up here on the inside so it's symmetrical. So this is what the inside looks like. I'm going to apply a floor and you can simply just build it on the grass just like this. And now we are going to continue with the other floor. So for the bottom floor, 
rebuild these columns. The columns were facing into this direction, they were open over here and the roof was angled like this. So this is what we have just built. But for the top floor you want to do the exact opposite. So you are building columns that are facing this way and you are using roofs that face into this direction. So when you place them inside this column it's closed. So it looks like this. I just quickly wanted to explain this so it's easy to understand and you kind of know what's going on on the other floor. I'm going to delete this and we are going to start working on the next floor. So now I'm building a room on top. I'm just using the room tool for this. Once again, I want to use the tallest wall height. And now I open up this area just like we did for the bottom floor. And I build the columns like this. As I've just shown you, you want them to be open in the front. So this is what we got now. And now I can simply copy the roof down here and I turn it around. And you can turn a roof around by either using these arrows here or you pick it up and you press your dot key on your keyboard and it looks like this. And now I'm simply going to place it up here. And now when you click on it, you can see that the eave is going down there and you don't want that. So you click on your roof, you hold down shift and then you look for the eave arrow. It's this one and then you bring this in. So it looks like this. And then you click on the roof and once again you copy it and I'm going to activate the grid for this and I'm going to place it over here. I copy it once again. I click on this copy button and I place it here and I can now close this column because just like this one there is no roof inside and it looks like this. I will now use the flat square, this one down here. I just place it over here and I just close this area off. I'm quickly going to apply floor and wall color. And now we are going to add exterior trims because I think it looks nice. You can use any type of exterior trim. For now I'm going to use this one, the simple exterior trim. And I'm going to place it everywhere, all around the columns and the room or building. And now you can see that the trims don't really close. There's like this little gap in between. And what you want to do is you build a fence on the inside. I'm going to use this base game fence here. And now I just built the fence from here to here and I'm going to do it like this. The fence is invisible because this is technically not a wall, but this is the roof that we've added. So it's not visible, but with this little trick, you can make the exterior trims look normal and now you could just add a roof on top if you would like to and of course you can just build this however you like and be creative with this but i'm going to add a roof quickly so you just see what this could look like And now on the inside you can just furnish it and as I said your sims won't be affected by weather. This is because there's a roof on top and it's the same as for my attic tutorial for example. This is not a problem and I'm having the same issue over here so I'm going to add the fence and the exterior trim is closed. And now I want to quickly show you how you can build this the opposite way. So let's say you would like your roofs to be angled this way. So the exact opposite. I'm quickly going to show you this. So we are building a room at the bottom and we are opening it up. And now we add the columns and this time they are open on this side at the bottom. So down here 
we built the columns and we left them open over here but now we are doing the exact opposite and we are building them like this I'm going to make this smaller and now i'm going to copy this roof because we already brought this into shape and now we have something like this i'm going to activate the grid and i will just add a piece of floor over here so it looks like this and i can close this column because there is no roof on the inside and now i want to add columns over here and this time they are closed in the front and open in the back just like the ones we've built down here because once again this is simply the opposite i can copy this roof and i place it inside this column now just like we've done here we want to bring the eve in we hold down shift we click on this arrow and make it look like this i can close this column because there is no roof on the inside and i now want to close the room i'm just building these walls and now i add this flat square so i have a ceiling and now you have two options you could either just place the flat square like this so it looks like this or you could place it down here you shape it like this and then you place it over the columns because for this version the roof is ending over here but here it's the opposite so you kind of have to decide how you want the top area to look like i just very quickly wanted to show this version i prefer this one but in case you're interested in this one i wanted to quickly show you this and this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if so please like and subscribe if you have any questions as always just leave a comment down below and i will help you i hope that you have a fantastic week and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye